For school it was quite bad. My attendance was really terrible. I didn't want to and didn't really care about school, didn't go in. And even when I first got told like I had this meeting with Anna before I knew who she was, I was kind of like, oh, what's this? Why do I have to go? Because I remember the first thing that happened is my head of year called us and proposed the idea to us. I was kind of a bit skeptical about doing it. But then when I took the note home with me, my mum was like, I think it would be good for you, you should do it. So I applied. But then I went for the first meeting and really, really enjoyed it. Really talked about anything I was struggling with, like struggling to understand or struggling to do and then finding ways around it and explaining stuff to me and helping me find like coping mechanisms and stuff like that. I also got help with writing a CV, which again, I had no idea what it was or what it did. I didn't even know how to apply for a job. So I got help making my CV and I'm very proud of it now. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do work experience at first. Again, I was past the deadline of choosing to do it. And then I had a meeting with Anna and she was like, would you like to do it? And my struggle was with like anxiety of reaching out to an employer and being like, can I work here? So Anna helped me do that. And then I found the hotel to work in and Tracy helped me with, you know, going to my first day and actually showing up. And after that, it was like a breeze. Like I got along really well with all the staff. I was doing really well working with customers. It really built on like my confidence with speaking because I had to speak with people every day for eight hours straight, like random people I'd never met before. And I feel like I'm more of a talkative person now because I'd always be talkative with family, but people I'd never met, I wouldn't be able to do it. And now I can do it easily. With academically, I was helped with finding out all my different paths in college. Like beforehand, I had no idea what an A-level or a T-level was. I wasn't even applying to college at that point. Like I was past the deadline of applying because I had no idea what to do. And now I do law, business and criminology A-levels. Like back when I was in like year seven or year eight, I would have never imagined myself choosing any of the courses I chose because I feel like I was just gonna, you know, like just accept with something that I didn't really enjoy but just made money. But then when I spoke to Anna about what I actually wanted to do, she helped me find a career path that suited me. And now I'm really ambitious about getting that career path and it really excites me the thought of doing what I wanna do. I wanna be a lawyer. Actually, I wanna work my way up and become a judge but you have to be a solicitor for five years first. So college, university, get my law degree, and then I can't remember what it's called, but there's a specific exam you have to take to become like an apprentice lawyer. And then obviously work as a lawyer for five years and then I can start working towards becoming a judge. So it's a long path, but I'm willing to take it.